Look at the light it let in, cutting back the lower leaves. That's why you need to do it, isn't it? Um, Lee, is that any better now? I can hear some scratching at your end. God, you don't need to shout. Oh, he's never happy, is he? <laughs> yeah, no, that's perfect. That, that, that's perfect now. Yeah. Mind that chair doesn't break that you're sitting on, Goldilocks. Right, so why on earth are the Portuguese councils thinking of using wheelie bins when we were perfectly happy with the um, dumpsters, weren't we? Well, I'm, I've always found the dumpsters quite useful and the recycling areas around here are quite good. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I think maybe they're trying to clean up the streets a bit, stop people from dumping next to the, the big bins, but it hasn't. People are still doing it, even though there's yeah, no well, bin there. But yeah. the wheelie bins are give out. The wheelie bins are give out are tiny ones. Um, okay. It's just, yeah. So now the footpaths are littered with wheelie bins all, all week. Um, right. Yeah, exactly. And I hate wheelie bins. They just look ugly, you know. They look ugly it on the does. street. It looks like a Dalek invasion, doesn't it, basically? And then... Yeah, if it's you, good. Yeah. yeah, if you mix that with like a, like a student town, you've basically got... Because people don't remember, do they, as well? That's the other thing with wheelie bins. Hopefully, we haven't got... We're not, we're not having a new rubbish regime um, or a garbage regime... Uh, where you've got to put it out on a certain day because that strikes terror into the hearts of people, doesn't it? Waking up in the middle of the night, realising you haven't put your wheelie bin out. First world problem, I know. But uh, we don't want that direction of travel. We are perfectly happy, Portugal, with your dumpster on every corner of, of every intersection. But not too bad then, Lee. Um, the sun is shining, you're having a coffee, you're having a smoke. Um, and clearly you are having a smoke fairly near an establishment, which is great to see as well. And hopefully, hopefully that won't get you or them are fine. Um, and uh, nothing too much to moan about. No, no, I really can't complain at the moment. I've got uh, this weekend off at Jason's, next weekend off because it's baby Eve's first birthday. So lovely. Yeah, Fantastic. it's time to... Time, time, the first time I got to relax this year, really. Yeah, it's been looking forward to it. Wow. And, I, and having um, played rounders at the weekend um, and, and actually scored a few rounders, and I've got really achy limbs. I know what you must go through every day, basically, working hard in the garden. Talking of which, as I look out on the new, from the new ground floor studio, I'm seeing reddening tomatoes. I'm seeing sunflowers, mm. sturgeons, beans, strawberries. Good time of year, isn't it, Lee? And hopefully not too late to get the earth. Can, can we still grow stuff or plant stuff? Oh, there's still, there's still time to get your lettuces in. You can still start You can start prepping now for your winter crops. You can still put onions in. Um, I should have sent some pictures because our, our tomato crop from yesterday was amazing. Um, yeah. My mother-in-law was very happy with the gifts. I took a big bag right. of tomatoes and some massive onions. I mean, fantastic year for onions this year. It was, it was that, huge. Is that, is that, that is a really nice moment for the gardener, isn't it? To share what they've grown with with the people they love. And obviously that was a magical moment yesterday. What is mother-in-law going to be doing with the onion and tomato combo? Well, if you don't know, the mother-in-law is living with us at the moment with the baby being here. So technically I'm, just, I'm just, t technically, I'm just taking it all for me to eat. <laughs> what she's going to make, um, because there are no chemicals on them, they're, they're perfect for the baby. So she's going to make baby soups uh, oh, with the onions and with the, uh, with the tomatoes. So oh, there'll be a, a, free, a freezer full of soups when I get on tonight, I imagine. Fantastic. Yeah, and it's just funny, isn't it, how tomatoes just suddenly go, they redden and ripen, and um, there they are ready for you. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to harvesting some tomatoes. Last, yeah. yeah, last Monday I took a small, a small bag off. Uh, I looked yesterday and I took, well, just loads, tons off, bagfuls, yeah. bagfuls. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just Good. in the in the space of seven days, just all turned. Yeah, yeah, superb. It's a miracle. It's an ongoing miracle, and not one wasted on Lee McGrady. His passion for the, for growing is uh, evident whenever you speak to him. And uh, with us once a month, happy to give out a few gardening tips. Not too late, as he says, to get your lettuces or onions in. And uh, enjoy the fruits of your harvest. Uh, we've got to Lord Gilchrist, Lee, look. Uh, don't worry about parking in San Martino de Porto. Just park on the roundabout. I don't think we've got any roundabouts. <laughs> I don't think we've got any roundabouts. I've, I've really got used to just abandoning the van. I used, to, I used to worry about it. Now I just find the space and dump it and walk away. Good for you. It's fantastic. <laughs> 
truly Portuguese, as you are there. You are the picture of Portugueseness, quite frankly. Uh, smoking a coffee in the morning before work and parking on a roundabout or just leaving your van willy-nilly anywhere you please. And you know, don't you, if, if your van's in the way, you're just going to hear a, a horn. And you just go out and move it. All good. There's a cafe opposite where I live when I get home at night. And all the guys that come home from work all go for a beer after work. And so the street is littered with vehicles just abandoned. And they all sit there drink, drinking a beer, waiting for the next parking spot to be available. And we know when that is because someone starts blasting the horn. And everyone sort of everyone sort of looks up uh, who's got that parking spot. And they all work out between themselves. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, um, but it's a nightmare if you're trying to drive up the street at that time of night. If you're trying to get past them all, it can be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Love, lovely little insight into Portuguese life. It's here after work. We're still doing that here. And uh, last question then this morning, Lee. Great to see you. Um, and uh, Lord Gilchrist is asking, was that David you working on the uh, bush trimming? Dave came out on Saturday with me, yeah. Yeah, I almost, it's... I think I almost killed him. He was tired at the end of the day. Yeah, well, he's a, more of a keyboard guy, isn't he? And there you were. He's a, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, and that yeah. opportunity, oh, that's actually quite a good service you can offer. Yeah, shiny bottomed. Um, keyboard warrior, uh, not warriors, but keyboard riding types, the keyboard jockeys. You could actually run a little course getting them out in the garden, vitamin D on them, a bit of hard labor. No, I, I, I enjoy spending time with Dave, but no, could you no. imagine me? I mean, could, could you imagine me doing training courses, Carl? I'd end up hitting people. I think that would be quite good fun TV, if nothing else. Uh, Lee McGrady's boot camp for the office worker. I can't wait. Lee, great to speak to you, mate. See you soon, I hope. Have a great weekend with Jace. We'll see him in a little while as well. All the best. Okay. Cheers, Cheers. buddy. Bye-bye. Good day there in Lisbon. Fantastic. See you later, mate. And we've got Matty getting ready as well to join us in just a mo. Let's have, say a few more hellos and see what's going on. And I'm hoping Jason from Quinta Essencial as well, too. We enjoyed that a great deal. I was saving it. Mrs. M's drinking again. Uh, and suddenly, to my horror, I saw it had been opened. <laughs> so I thought I'd better get in there quick.